it gave millions and millions of youngsters hope. Someone who had challenges like us scored the most amazing goal at the big stage when the whole world was watching. There were a lot of events that took place, you know, prior to the goal. I was well prepared. I was in the right frame of mind. On the day of the game, I have to admit that, you know, I got emotional when I witnessed that beautiful picture of when we were, when we were on the bus approaching the stadium, when, you know, the streets on the road, everything, you know, came to a standstill. It was colorful. Everyone wearing the, you know, bright colors, the national team colors, some were wearing the Mexican colors as well. Going to the field, the loud uh, reception that was there, singing the national anthem with, with uh, you know, teary eyes. That will always be, you know, one of the highlights of the World Cup. And um, of course, the goal itself. We gained position from that position was two, three touches, and then we are out, uh, you know, from um, the Khashu's defense beating pass. And as soon as he received the ball, then I was already on my bike uh, from the left hand side. And the first touch was good, but uh, you know, my intention first was just to just to lob the ball over. But uh, on on second thought, I just unleashed that you know the powerful shot. Because the first touch was good, you know, the timing was good, even the posture. When I saw the goal, you know, the ball just going in, in the top corner, I, I got into my zone, in my, in my own well. I was also reminiscing, you know, uh, from where the journey began, why I wanted, uh, you know, uh, this career, why I wanted this dream. And it was the rewards of my perseverance, of all the obstacles that one had to endure, you know, to, to be where I was at that moment. And also celebrating with the world, because I did not only celebrate with my teammates or with those who were in the stadium. I think I celebrated with the world. You can even look at uh, the celebration after the goal when we went on corner flag to do the celebration. It was well coordinated. It shows that, you know, we we knew that that moment would come. You know, from training, practicing a training, the dance moves, and up until that moment where we had to show off. It brought unity, it, it brought joy to, to everyone. You know, um, it's a goal that uh, will always be the best in the sense that it made everyone happy, regardless of the race. One human race celebrating, hugging each other, rejoicing. And at that moment, whoever had problem, they left their problems at home. It gave a lot of youngsters, millions and millions of youngsters, hope that, you know, uh, someone that looks like us, someone that you know, comes from uh, a background that we also come from. Someone who had challenges like us um, scored the most amazing goal at the big stage when the whole world was watching. So it, it, it really gave millions and millions of people hope in that regard. If we put all the resources, uh, investment, you know, into development in Africa, I'm, I'm truly optimistic that, you know, there'll be massive improvement. We, we've got the talent, we've got, you know, the skill. It comes naturally, but it needs to be nurtured. I try to, you know, instill, you know, uh, important values in these youngsters at an early age. By the time they get to proper development structures, um, you know, at least they've got a head start. Those who will be taking over will be working on something. They won't be starting from, from scratch. And it's also important as well to export youngsters you know, to, to the best countries in Europe where they can get the exposure, you know, where they can uh, learn um, other cultures, other philosophies, combine them with the, the African 
flair, African gift, the national teams will be stronger. The national teams will be able to, to compete against the best. And in that case, then I see, you know, uh, Africa competing for winning the World Cup.